All right. Thank you for joining me. I am Brian Banks from Your Career Day. Can you give us your name? Uh, my name is Brian Vincent Rhodes. Uh, I am a animation director and storyboard artist. I didn't know if you wanted me to say that yet. <laughs> oh, that's, that's perfectly fine. So, well, where is your hometown, Brian? I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. All right. Right in the city. Born and bred. Yeah, all right. That's good. <laughs> now, you, you mentioned your career title. Can you say it again for us? Uh, animation director and storyboard artist. Okay. Now, what does that entail? Well, the two different positions. Uh, an animation director is like a director for any film that you would know. Uh, a mm -hmm. live action film is what we call like real actors. But in an animated sense, uh, I direct, you know, uh, animated films like a Disney or Pixar in that mm -hmm. way. So you're dealing with um, that workflow of, of, of directing the animation artists and the storyboard artists and the, the visual development artists. Um, uh, you know, you're, you're recording the actors, uh, very similar to how you would direct a film. You're just doing it all basically from a computer. <laughs> okay. All right. And what, yeah. what about storyboard? A storyboard artist is the individual that draws uh, the frames for the movie in the beginning phases of development for the film. So this would be an artist, almost like a comic book, in that okay. you draw these sort of key images that represent uh, what the actors or what the what the what the movie is or what the movie is, uh, and you essentially can string those together and you can see what that movie will be from these you know snapshots of images that you've drawn. Okay. Now, what type of education is required to do this? Well, uh, typically you want to have some type of fine arts degree uh, mm -hmm. uh, or fine arts education, I would say. Uh, you know, you can, um, you know, learning the fundamentals of drawing, the fundamentals of anatomy. Mm -hmm. uh, these, are, these are important uh, as, as you're going to be drawing a lot of people doing things. Uh, you need, you know, certain uh, foundation of certain skills and drawing in perspective. Um, and you, you also know, need to know how movies work. You need to know how storytelling works. So you need to know, uh, from a storyboard artist position, like, you know, how to, uh, draw certain camera angles, uh, what happens next in a story, um, how to focus the eye in certain areas of a film. Uh, these are all sort of tricks that you would need as a director. I think storyboard art is like the closest thing to being a director without mm -hmm. being a director, because you are essentially creating the film and so that's uh that's that's some of the skills you would need for that job okay now what is the best type person suited to do what you do well as an animation director i think you would need to have a control over um knowing how to manage all these elements of the film i think communication becomes very important um, I think you want to learn how to interact with people and how to clearly express your ideas to people. Uh, that's important. Um, you know, you have to know uh, sometimes when to let an idea, uh, you know, knowing how to build a team is important, I'd say, mm -hmm. like knowing how to work with people and let them feel like letting people's ideas come in and, 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 and help uh, enhance the film. Mm -hmm. I think another thing is, you want to know what the vision of the film is and make sure that you keep that in the forefront of the conversation. So um, I think a personality type, I, I wouldn't word necessarily, I think anybody can do this. I think mm -hmm. it was more about these are the skills you want to be able to direct. As a storyboard artist, I would say the skills you want are, um, you know, like I said, a, a keen sense of drawing, a person that was always drawn in the back of the class kind of thing that was just always into that. That's, that's how I was. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, you want, um, you know, somebody that just enjoys film and, yeah. and, and, and it's a, it's a fun way to express yourself in this way. Uh, I think those are the key things that you really want. I think anybody can kind of pick this up and do it to certain degrees, but I think it comes down to the passion level that you would have for, for that and, and, and your talent. 
Okay. Uh, what was your road to your current position? How did you get here? Uh, well, I started off with you. <laughs> and then, uh, I started out with um, in, in, in a fine arts program. And mm -hmm. then I eventually decided to go to pursue a higher education in a graduate program. Yeah. And I went to the University of Southern California for the film school there. And I did that. And uh, that prepared me for opportunities outside of school uh, to to you know go to the studio and work at uh, work at Blue Sky and Disney mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, you know Netflix uh, and, and it just kind of you, you just your career kind of moves from there. Right. Uh, but that's the foundation of my career started in I did a uh, bachelor's degree in fine art in, in industrial design. Mm -hmm. uh, I also was in the college engineering at the same time, so I just kind of had an unorthodox way of getting to the place that I'm at now. Uh, but then I ended up going to graduate school for film and animation uh, at University of Southern California. So I wouldn't say that everyone needs to necessarily go to graduate school. I'm not, you know, necessarily. I, I don't think that's the route for everybody. Yeah. I think uh, a foundation in, um, you know, your, your your fundamentals, some some level of education in the fundamentals of art. Um, I think you could find your way to this position. Um, I think for me, uh, you know, I wanted to direct and I wanted to make films. And I love the the world of film school that was meeting a lot of great minds that were mm -hmm. similar and that you could uh, create with these people that were just great friends. So, uh, you know, there's two different paths to go about it. Yeah. Uh, there's no correct path. I think it just becomes about what you what you want. Okay. Now, how did you know this was the career for you? You said you were on a you were on a path where you did art and design and engineering. How did you know that animation was going to be the career for you? Yeah, I think for me, I had always done this, and I didn't realize I was always doing this. I mm -hmm. was always drawing. I was always drawing characters, cartoons. That's how I really got into this space. And uh, I think I just loved animation. I loved cartoons. I loved Saturday morning cartoons and mm -hmm. more so than probably a normal person. And I was just drawing them and that was my thing. And so there was a part of me that as a kid, I remember that feeling. And, uh, you know, as you get older, you start to see different things, experience different things. And I sort of, you know, uh, got into doing science and things of this nature. But I also always kept that feeling of wanting to do art. Um, I think it came down to a point where, you know, I was in the work world for a while and I said to myself, well, you know, what does the next 10 years look like in this path of doing this thing that I'm doing right now? Um, you know, there's parts of it I enjoy, but when I look down the road, I think the thing that made me um, recognize was like, okay, this is not exactly the 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 life that I can, can kind of want it in that, mm -hmm. in that way. Uh, great life, by the way, but if that's your thing, if that's what you want. And I think for me, I said, you know what, let me pick up this 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 kid drawing thing again. And let's, let me just see if I can make something out of that. And I think uh, you know, I was very fortunate in that I was able to get into have a good education and yeah. get into those programs that allowed me to do that. And then um one thing kind of led to another. I just committed myself. I think that's a big part of this whole mm -hmm. conversation is commitment. And I think I committed myself and those things helped me tremendously. Uh, that that commitment let me sort of focus without thinking of uh I didn't have a backup plan, so to speak. I mean, I knew I could go back to engineering, but I was I was I was at that point where I said, let me pursue this full wholeheartedly. And that's where I think things worked out for me in that way. So okay. So yeah. Now the final question. Yeah man. What advice would you give to someone that might want to follow in your footsteps? Uh, someone that might want to follow my footsteps. I would say just for one, study the craft as much as you can. Study film, study movies, and study drawing. Um, and I think if you want to get into animation, if you want to direct, uh, just make a movie with your friends, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, make a simple animated movie with your friends, you know? Um, these are things that I think anybody can do. Um, make a short, you know, it can only be a minute, 
to just yeah. enjoy that process of making. And I think it will lead you to unexpected, really fun uh, discoveries. That's, that's great, man. I really appreciate that. Um, good advice. Um, you know, I wish you all the best moving forward. Can't wait to see what the, the projects are. Uh, and, you know, anything I can do to help you, let me know. Thank you. You've helped so much already. And uh, I appreciate you. And uh, hopefully, you know, uh, I can come back and show you guys some cool stuff. <laughs> For sure. <laughs>